All right, hello everyone, and welcome to TJ Lavin's Ultimate BMX, or rather, MTV Sports presents TJ Lavin's Ultimate BMX. My name is Insetic, and with me is Blank Tester. Hey, what's going on? I definitely didn't expect, I did not expect the, the menu screens to look so 90s. Yeah, so we're back to the PlayStation 1, and you know, back in the heyday of extreme sports games, MTV actually wanted in on that and commissioned a line of games. They put out a skateboarding game, a BMX game, and a snowboarding game. Maybe some others, but those are the three I know. And all of them are budget quality. Oh. As you'd expect from, you know, someone who just wants in on a trend rather than wants to make a really great game. Um, but, so, so... You know, you might think of biking games and like Dave Mira or Matt Hoffman, and then you see TJ Lavin and you go, what? Uh, it's kind of definitely the red-headed stepchild of the BMX games, and not many people might know about it. In fact, there's not a lot about it online. I think I might be one of the few who's actually gone completely through the game. But huh. that just means it's, you know, I'm really excited to show it off. It's the perfect kind of game to show off that I can get through and show all of it and you don't really know any of it, so... Yeah. Let's start out with a character. I picked uh, Fuzzy Hall because, you know, I'd already beaten the game with the main man, TJ Lavin. And the first level is kind of the tutorial level. It's just a couple score goals, get you familiar with doing tricks. Um, pretty standard controls and such in that way. Mm -hmm. You got tricks on the square and the circle buttons. You can spin with L1 and R1. And there's point pickups you can see in the sky that you can get and add to the points that you get. I think that that little, like, the points getting added to the left and then going up, I think that's kind of a neat effect. It looks kind of cool. Yeah, I'm going to say a couple things. Uh, and the first thing I'm going to say is that, you know, I want to start off in the first couple videos, you know, giving the game a fair shot, you know, evaluating it as, you know, what you see. Um, because ultimately, as the game goes on, it does get worse. Mm. But at the start, when the levels are pretty basic and the challenges are pretty basic, um, it's floaty, it's wonky, hmm. tricks can be tough to land, but ultimately, you know, it's playable. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, get too mean too quick, basically. And kind of part of that is that, yeah, there's, so, you, you know, obviously the framework is basically a bunch of high-up executives looking at Tony Hawk and such and saying, do that. But yeah. there are a couple creative systems in here. Like, you may notice, as you pull off tricks, your character starts to get energized, sort of. You see electricity kind of shooting around them. And that's how you know you can do your special moves, basically. Huh. You know, moves that are you know, over the top, better than normal moves. And also, I'll talk about, I'll talk more about that in a bit, but then also, as you ride around, as you use more of the level, as you do tricks, yeah, that multiplier in the bottom left starts to increase, which multiplies the points you get off of every trick you do. Hmm. So, it kind of starts, you know, your scores, your tricky scores, are kind of, kind of start compounding. At the start of a run, you do a trick, you get maybe hundreds of points, but by the end of a run, if you do that same trick and you have a five times, six times, seven times multiplier, you can be getting thousands of points from the same trick. Hmm. Now, you know, we passed those two oh. uh, score challenges, and so the only other thing in TJ's backyard is to get this key. Huh. And unfortunately, this is where very, very early on you learn that the game will have its moments of frustration. <laughs> um, yeah. The developers might have assumed you could easily jump onto this van, but through all of my trying, I could not just jump up on the bike and land. Yeah. I have, I have to uh, basically crash myself up on top of it. So this is kind of the first moment where it teaches you early on you may have to... Um, Get a little creative to you might have make to things. Dick yourself around a little to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's interesting. 
Mm-hmm. I was going to mm-hmm. actually say that when you crash, the animation of you getting up and stuff, that looks like it's kind of smooth. And that's kind of neat. Yeah, on one hand, when you're flying through the air, it's so canned looking, but then, yeah. Yeah. Looks kind of decent when you're getting up. Yeah. Alright, so we got through the tutorial level. We passed those two challenges. We got some wild sprockets. I'll explain that as the game goes along, but now we're in the first main level, and you may have noticed that, just like the character stats, the levels were broken up into street, vert, and dirt. Yeah. Honestly, despite being from unrelated game companies, this game has quite a couple similarities with a, um... Another street, vert, dirt game we know? uh, Another, um fairly clunky BMX game from the next generation. Ah. And... Well, that was interesting. (laughs) Yeah. So, in the level, you know, you got a score goal, you collect the big MTV logo, just like, you know, collect the secret tape and all that from Activision's games. And then a couple level-specific interaction challenges knock over the six barriers, such like that. Yeah. So, four challenges and a level at the start. And so, you know, levels are decent size for those challenges, and now the challenges are really hard. I'll kind of spoil it. You know, when I say the game gets worse as it goes along, the game gets worse as the levels get bigger. Oh. You won't see this until the second time through, but really how the game kind of progresses is you've got these three environments Mm -hmm. and then when you hit the next set of levels and then the next set the level opens up more oh so you go back to a previous level yeah and it opens up this is the street environment this is the city level oh okay but right now i mean pretty 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 decent size for you know, a level from these kind of games. We've talked about... Yeah, from about... the PS1 era, that's fairly large. Already. Already. Yeah. yeah. We've kind of talked about, you know, you look at the original Tony Hawk, and there were some pretty small levels. There were also some pretty big levels. You know, compare Chicago and such versus Streets. Yeah. And then as those games went along and they, you know, added more challenges per level, went from 5 to 10, you know, and, yeah. and made better use of levels overall kind of a tighter experience, but yeah, so note that riding around the level, just kind of doing things, doing basic tricks, we're up to like a six times combo. Yeah. And so, you know, at the start you only have to get 10,000 points, but <laughs> nice. You know, if you if you pick up a logo, if you, if you, if you, you know, do some spins, jump a gap or such, or we'll see, you know, 400 points multiplies up to 2,000 points. Right. That's kind of neat. I don't know if I ever... Have we? Have you ever covered a game that does this before? You know, actually, actually, I was playing this game and it felt... Some of these elements felt familiar. The electricity shooting around the character when you do well, the score multipliers, it felt like something I'd experienced before, but I couldn't put my finger on what. Mm-hmm. Now, I was going back through some of my older series, you know, updating playlist descriptions updating videos and I uh I, I I was watching back some Toxic Grind uh huh you remember Toxic Grind yeah and in that game as you do well your character starts getting energized and there's a points multiplier that moves up the same way that's right Blue Shift Studios did both this game and Toxic Grind oh yeah so they made this game They were commissioned to make this game, and then a couple years later, on the Xbox, made Toxic Grind, building off of it. Honestly, I should have seen it more. You look at the animations in Toxic Grind, and they're both kind of the same amount of clunkiness, but, you know, a little more fluid as well. Yeah. All right, so, tutorial level, teaching you the basic controls, teaching you how to trick, then the first main level, giving you a few challenges. Yeah. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll see what the next levels are. We'll see the vert environment and the dirt environment next time when we get back to TJ Lavin's Ultimate BMX.